I have very strong, mostly positive feelings about where I'm from and a deep affection for where I'm from. But I see uh, a kind of poetry or poignancy in these things that are, are disappearing. The, ch the South is changing rapidly. It's becoming a, a more affluent part of this country, and it's, but it's unfortunate that it's beginning to look like almost everywhere else. And these things that I've photographed, that I've made sculptures of, that I've drawn and painted are not, got, not going to be around much longer. William Christenberry was a photographer who was born in Tuscaloosa, Alabama in 1936. He lived most of his adult life in Washington, D.C., but every summer he would return to Hale County, uh, where he spent his summers as a child. Uh, making making photographs. He was uh, very interested in these sort of unrefined but very genuine expressions of material culture that he would find throughout these, uh, these rural farming communities. Crisenberry is best known for his lyrical pictures of vernacular southern architecture and the rural landscape. He often photographed the same locations, the same buildings, the same landscapes over the course of many decades, and he was really interested in how the effects of time would change these places and how he could record that using photography. Christenberry was a real innovator in color photography. He started shooting in color uh, around 1960 at a time when serious uh, fine art photography was done entirely in black and white and color was really reserved for commercial purposes or Hollywood movies or maybe uh, the home snap shooter. And throughout the 1970s as it be gradually became more accepted within the context of fine art, he had already well established himself as a master of, of the medium. Christenberry would often arrange his photographs of a single subject taken over the course of many years into grids. And so each individual photograph has this sense of being static in the present, that you're looking at this one moment that is forever unchanged. And yet at the same time, when you see all of them together, he undercuts that sense of constancy by showing you the change and the evolution over the course of many, many, many years, and the build up, the accumulation of that change and that passage of time. Also, I'm interested in, in, how shall I say, mankind's touch or mankind's effect on these things more than I am in the, in the people. I'd be very truthful with you. I, uh, I've never had any real desire to photograph people. I, I don't know why that is, but I do like or do tend to look at the effect of what people have done to the landscape or to a structure and certainly what time and the elements have how that they have affected these things. Christenberry began photographing at a time when the country was going through very rapid modernization and populations were shifting from rural agrarian communities to more urban lifestyles. In some of the series you see the buildings fall apart and decay and eventually disappear. In others, uh, particularly Barry's Place, which was a, a building that he photographed in Greensboro. You see a change over the course of, of decades. It starts out as a structure that's like a general store, and then it becomes a juke joint and a bar. Um, but it's gradually added to and renewed and refreshed, and the building over the course of the time Chris and Barry photographed is almost completely transformed to the point where you barely even notice that it's the same building. Being here in Hale County and visiting the sites that Chris and Barry photographed, uh, really, it makes you very much aware of how photography transforms the world that, that it depicts, that it's not just this direct one-to-one uh, -one reflection of exactly what exists out in the world, that there is this sense of selecting and choosing and interpreting the way that um, he composed the pictures, a particular angle that he photographed from, what he chose to leave out of the pictures that really um, get to the essence of what he was doing as an artist. The High Museum has over 130 photographs by Christenberry in the permanent collection. It's one of the largest institutional collections of Christenberry's work. He's hugely important to the history of photography, but particularly photography in the South. And he holds an essential place in that, that larger narrative about the region's contributions to the history of photography. And as I get older, now realizing more and more, not dwelling on it, but realizing more and more my own mortality all of these things become more intense and uh, unwavering in my desire to, as I said at the beginning, come to grips with the fact that what I've been doing is, in essence, sort of recording, in a way, in one way or another, the passing of time.